Good evening, students. Now, let's proceed uh, with our lesson. So, last week, we discussed about science. And science, as we all know, as an organized body of knowledge. Now, let's take a look or let's discuss technology. So, when we say technology, this is the use of scientific knowledge for practical purposes or application, whether in industry or any our everyday lives. So, which technology do you think uh, that radically changed a human evolution? Okay? So, now, technology has to satisfy requirements of. So, what are those requirements? Okay, we have the utility, usability, and safety. So, where do you think a technology are best applied for? So, the application of technology we have for the engineering, food, biotechnology, environmental. So, let's check a look or uh, let's check the relationship among science, technology, and engineering. So, this is an example of a Venn diagram. We will try to check um, the similarities and the differences. So, science seeks to understand the natural world and often needs new to tools to help discover answers. So, take note, ah, science seeks to understand the natural world. Now, for the technology, technologies are the result of the engineer designs and they are created by technicians to solve societal needs and wants. And engineering Engineers use scientific discoveries to design products and processes that meet society's needs. So, there is an interconnection between the three terms. Okay, so how about biotechnology? So, biotechnology are um, best fi found in the medicine, phar medicine pharmacy, Agriculture for plants, industry, environment, waste industry, and sea resources. For how about for the food technology? So, food technology, we have, let's say, the sensory science, indigenous food technology, the food preservation and storage, the food processing, the food packaging, quality control and assurance, the food or the dairy marketing the value chain, the functional, and the nutraceuticals. Okay? How about for the engineering? So, the mechanical. We have mechanical engineering, electrical, civil, chemical. So, when we say mechanical, this deals with the designing of the physical and mechanical systems such as mechanical instruments, engines, vibration isolation systems, compressor, weapon systems, automobile parts, etc. And for, of course, for the electrical, design for the electrical systems and its applications such as the electrical circuits. Okay, we have the electromagnetic system, computer system, IC circuits, microchips, electronic devices, and telecommunications. For civil, it deals with the designing of the public infrastructure such as roads, Bridges, dams, water supply, buildings, etc. So, those are the work of civil engineers. Now, for the chemical engineering, it deals with the study of the application of the chemistry, physics, biology in the commercial processes such as petroleum refining, microfabrication, biomolecule and product, uh, biomolecule production, and etc. So, how about this one? Because of the technology, we need to consider also the low carbon and energy conservation, prevention and dest destruction of the of pollution, then waste treatment and management. So, what are the good effects of technology? Okay, of course, we have here the faster transport transportation, faster communication, faster information sharing, then faster agriculture productivity. Okay, um, the double-edged tech sword. So, this one is for the communication anytime, anywhere, but with a risk of losing privacy. Now, take note, 
technology is the applied science. And technology always, um, not all the time, technology shared or a give a positive effect. But we need to consider always the good effect of technology. But make sure that technology, because of the uh, because of the technology that we have today, we need to consider also this one, energy conservation, so that we can come up with a low carbon footprint. Then prevention and destruction of the pollution. Then waste treatment and management. Okay, how about this one, society? So, when we say society, the term society is derived from the Latin word socius, which means companionship or friendship. So, we have two primary components of a society. So, we have the culture and its social structure. Okay, society is one of the basic sociological terms. In simple sense, society is a large grouping that shares the same geographical territory shares a common culture and social structure and expected to abide by some laws. So take note, we have two primary components of a society. We have the culture and the social structure. And of course, that culture and social structure or the society as a whole need to abide by some laws. Okay, so this is an example of a society or a group of people. So, definition of culture. Now, different sociologists have differently defined um, the term culture. So, according to Taylor, culture is the complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, morals, law, customs, and habits, and any capabilities acquired by man as a member of society. Now, according to Linton, culture is a social heredity which is transmitted from one generation to another with the accumulation of individual experiences. Okay, according to John B.T., culture is the way of life which is transmitted from generation to generation. So, what are the eight elements of culture? So, we have here culture are divided or is divided into eight elements. We need to consider the language or the dialect or the local form of a language. The religion helps answer basic uh, questions about life's meaning. The daily life, how people eat, what they wear, how they build homes, okay? Economy, how people earn a living. Government also, how uh, the rules, laws about how to live and what type of government okay, in that certain uh, area. Then arts, painting, sculpture, architecture, dance, music, theater, literature. For the history, what has happened in the past, holiday stories about heroes, difficult times, Social groups, we have the number of rich of poor or middle class, gender roles, how your, um, let's say, how your young or old treated ethnic groups. Then, okay, again, so we have eight language, religion, daily life, economy, government, arts, history, and social groups. Okay, so this is an example of a, okay, culture society so science and society now we will try to check the relationship between science and society again when we say science science is an organized body of knowledge and society uh, is uh, composed primarily of culture and social structure now, using science involves understanding its context in society and its limitations. So, many questions, okay, many questions that affect society and our lives require scientific information to answer and many have inspired important research. Okay? So, what is the relationship of society and science? So, we have here, 
Okay, develop technology, address societal issues. So, in order to address societal issues, what will we do? Develop a technology. Now, how to de develop technology? Of course, you need to build knowledge. So, ne you need to build knowledge in order to develop a technology. Now, in order to build knowledge, you need to satisfy your curiosity. Okay, you need to be curious in order for you to build knowledge and develop a technology that can address societal issues. So, once the societal issues will be addressed, there will be an informed policy that will help solve everybody problems or everyday problems. So, science both influences society and is influenced by society. Okay? So, what are the list of social issues in today's science or in today's society? Of course, number one. Okay, we have the global warming. But today, the most recent, uh, let's say, so, uh, social issues maybe is, let's say, um, the idea of that uh, biological weapon or biological war. Okay, drug abuse, abortion, misuse of social networking, homophobia, poverty, women's rights, religions-based discrimination, Unemployment, civil rights, obesity, terrorism, gen gender issues, eating disorder, anxiety, stress. Okay? So, to, so to summarize, science seeks to improve, okay? Then, science also inform. Society demands more, okay? So, society benefits from Technology makes life easier. So, if we're going to check, in order to build technology, science is needed. And technology is um, used by the society in order to make life easier. So, technology is the use or the application of the scientific knowledge for a specific goal or purpose. Okay? Okay?